Yesterday, we had a very moving story about a local woman who found a veteran's ashes in a storage unit. And she told us that she was planning to give him a proper burial. She didn't think anybody else was going to come to the burial. Cor Harlan shows us what happened after our story aired. There was a real fear that no one might show up at Richard Graber's memorial planned for Willamette National Cemetery here March the 30th. But since our story outlining his plight aired on Thursday, we're finding out that Richard has many more friends in death, sadly, than he ever imagined having in life. I'll remember when we used to sit on the couch down at his house and laugh, you know. Norma Guthrie is the woman who found Richard Graber's remains in a Vancouver storage shed about a month ago. She was a friend of Richard's. She's made funeral arrangements paid off Richard's bills, and she's even located Richard's biological son, a seven-year-old boy who's been adopted out to other parents. You have a real fear that you and your husband may be the only two at his funeral. We probably will be, but two's better than none. That was Norma talking with us Thursday. After our story aired, Patriot Guard Rider detachments in both Oregon and Washington took notice and now say they'll be there for Richard's March 30th memorial. It's important to those people that have lost someone to know that others care. Chris Keller's one of the Oregon state captains of the Patriot Guard Riders. She says that her group will be there for a show of support while manning a flag line as they do for other veterans who are lost but not forgotten. We go to these and rarely do we know the person that has passed away, but it's just that show of support that we're kind of all in this together and anything we can do to help and to honor that service to our country. I made contact with Norma Guthrie late this afternoon. She tells me she's relieved the Patriot Guard riders will be there. She also tells me that Richard's surviving son, the seven-year-old, will be there in attendance for his biological father's funeral. At Willamette National Cemetery, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.